Android 13 custom ROMs have been out there for quite some time now and I thought I should start trying one of them. Now when it comes to Redmi Note 9 Pro and Redmi Note 10 Pro, there are some really good Android 13 custom ROMs available out there. But I had to start with Project Elixir first because I did not try Android 12 version of this ROM in any of these devices. So today's video is going to be a complete review of Project Elixir in Redmi Note 9 Pro and Redmi Note 10 Pro and we are going to start with the basic Android 13 features. As you would expect, Android 13 features like notification bar improvements including the power button, settings menu and the background app notification are working fine. Copy and paste window for both the text as well as image are working fine as well and I did not face any issue with this feature, so thumbs up for that. Other Android 13 features like the combined display and text size or lock screen customization are present as well and they are working fine. When it comes to customization, there is this separate section known as Essence where you get some really good features like different font styles or different icon pack styles. You can also customize the status bar and quick settings. Under miscellaneous features, you get options like advanced restart and game space. So if you are a gamer, you get this higher FPS feature and I did try this feature with Battlegrounds Mobile India and you get a 90 FPS feature in the game. Other theming options like light and the dark modes are working absolutely fine and you also get those stock Android wallpapers in both these devices. When it comes to sound options, there is no Dolby Atmos but you get this MI sound enhancer or the direct sound enhancer where you can choose some different sound presets or enable hi-fi. Unlimited Google Photo storage is also present for both Redmi Note 9 Pro and the 10 Pro so that's not an issue. When it comes to calling features, you get all the important features like Volte, Wi-Fi calling and carrier video calling and all these features are working fine. Talking about battery backup in Project Elixir, it is very good. And if you take a look at the stats here, you should get a screen on time of 6 to 7 hours easily. I tested the battery backup with mobile data as well as with Wi-Fi. And if you take a look at this idle battery drain, it is also very less. So you can expect a very good battery life with this ROM. This ROM also supports fast charging with Redmi Note 9 Pro as well as the 10 Pro, so thumbs up for that. I also wanted to show you some other important features and we are going to start with the fingerprint sensor and the face unlock. And both of them are working fine and you should not face any issue with all that. This ROM also passes the safety net test by default, so you should not face any issues with banking applications. Widevine L1 is also supported, so playing SD content should not be an issue as well. Double tap to wake and sleep are working fine and you can also choose to display different screen savers while charging and docking, so that's perfect. Overall, this ROM is looking really good in both Redmi Note 9 Pro and the 10 Pro. But you might face some small issues here and there because this is the beta version of this ROM. Now let's take a look at the bugs you might face with this ROM and we are also going to discuss the missing features. So the first thing you will notice is that you do not get separate tiles for Wi-Fi and the mobile data. It is combined together into a single tile. I also noticed some bugs with Essence customization where the pixel launcher will keep stopping automatically when you try to change the signal or Wi-Fi icons. Another issue I noticed with Essence is that if you change the default and the signal icon styles, material you theming will stop and the system will not adopt color based on the wallpaper you use. I know this is weird but let's hope that it gets fixed in the upcoming updates. And talking about updates, Elixir does not come with any inbuilt updater so you can keep a note of that as well. Elixir OS also does not come with any camera application in Redmi Note 10 Pro and you get this Google Camera Go with Redmi Note 9 Pro, so you have to take help from the main Gcam here. Some issues are specific for Redmi Note 9 Pro only, like the accessibility menu does not work and the auto rotate icon is buggy, it automatically appears and disappears sometimes. So that is pretty much everything about the pros and cons of Elixir OS in Redmi Note 9 Pro and the 10 Pro and I hope this video is helpful for you. And if you are planning to flash this ROM in any of these devices, please check the video description for a step-by-step -step installation guide. And if you face any issues, you can drop a comment or you can reach out to me on any social media platforms and I'll try my best to help. And if this is your first time on this channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on channel notifications so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in my next video.